Here we are in a very slightly cloudy Phoenix, Arizona out of Glendale. Now today I wanted to go ahead and I wanted to put a little bit of focus on this Air Force Base right right here. This is Luke Air Force Base in Glendale, Arizona. And for this little flight showcase for this aircraft, I wanted to pick this place. I know this aircraft is stationed in a lot of other places, but I wanted to pick here because I'm personally from here, so I wanted to give it some love. Today we're going to be showing off the Top Mock Studios F-22 Lightning. Now this bad boy gets up and goes. She does what she needs to, although she does have her issues. But today we'll be showing off everything in between, and I'll be uh, having my wingman today. Uh, he's actually going to be our lead man for some reason. His uh, pilot is not popping up in that seat there, so I guess he'll be invisible. But, sir, if you want to, go ahead and introduce yourself for everyone. Uh, I'm Peach Ranger, call sign Peach. Uh, I got about 133 hours in this, uh, flight hours in this game now. Uh, yeah. Hell yeah, dude. How long have you uh, been flying this? Because I know you probably had this longer than I do. And what's the what's the skin that you have on the outside there that looks pretty fucking sick? Uh, I don't remember uh, what it was. Uh, this was one of the skins that just came with the uh, uh, Top Mock Studio aircraft. But I've, I've been flying this for slick. like a couple of weeks now, I think. Maybe even a little over a month or two. And then over here, we'll switch over to mine as well. So I'll be Sierra as my call sign. You guys know me as Zanzibar Craig in my other videos. If you guys do enjoy this type of stuff, check out the playlist. We have a bunch of other stuff with the C-130, the FA-18, and much more to come. But I just have the basic paint job around the outside there. So nothing too crazy and fancy. But today, I am not going to be lead. Peach is going to be lead, and I'll be his wingman today. So he'll be instructing us on what to do for these pre-flight startups there. That's a good little um, around the outside. Oh, another little detail I want to go ahead and show you guys is this remove before flight. All the little tags and the covers and everything. It is, it's, it's a really nice little detail. Uh, and as you start to go through your checklist, obviously those all disappear. But, alrighty, Peach, are you uh, ready to go ahead and take over for pre flight? I am ready. Fucking do your thing, my friend. We'll right, follow so along. First thing on the right side uh, is the battery switch. Flip that on. Perfect, the screen's turned on too, thank goodness. Copy. Um, and then Battery on the top on. left, uh, I like to just have the status page open on the top left, uh, just to make sure that there's nothing that I missed, anything like that. Uh, really, it only Copy. shows the generators that for the engine startup and stuff like that. And then uh, on the bottom left, I'll just set, uh, I'll hit, um, what is that called? Uh, on the top, or the bottom left screen I'll hit the menu button and go to engines and hit control just have that up and ready copy okay so you put that on your left side sometimes I do that on my right but it's whatever you prefer okay yeah I keep the uh, I have the map on the right side in the middle I have the um, uh, the FLIR and then I make sure I set that to uh, ultra on the bottom right of that screen and the bottom one I have switched for uh, like my weapons bay doors and stuff do you want me to open those now uh, we'll we'll do that here in just a second as we're getting those first engines uh, fired up you can go and open those bay doors if you want to and we'll we'll show them off okay sounds good okay um, right under the landing gear on the left side you can flip the APU on Come on. Thing is so touchy. I say it every time, dude. I'm gonna switch to mouse and keyboard just for this fucking game. It's it's worth it for sure. APU is on. Alright, APU is and then down at the bottom of the your engine page, uh, it'll say that your APU is at hundred percent. That's what we want. I'm trying then, to zoom in as best as I can for you guys, because I know it's a little bit harder to see versus what I see in your guys' depth for uh, seeing all the buttons here, so I'll do my best to try to show that off for you guys. And then... Um, staying on the right side, the external lights panel, and flip that to uh, position slash anti-collision lights. Turn those oh. on now for those right now where are they? I think they're over here they're right next to the 
Yeah, there it is. Panel light brightness. Position light. And then... Four. You want... The, uh, what were those huh? uh, two buttons? What were the two uh, buttons that you just said for the lights? Um, it's just one knob uh, on the left side of the external lights panel. Uh, just turn it twice to the top to position slash anti-collision lights. Copy. And then to the right of that, uh, I just have the uh, formation lights off just because it's not dark. Copy. All right, and then from there, we're ready to start the engines. Go back to the engine page. Yes, and sir. turn on the left pump, left ignition, Copy. left start, and then down under the throttle, there's the engine, the FADEC, put that to left side, or the left engine, and you'll have to Copy just start left. moving. Yep, so I like to go ahead and have a little bit more play. So instead of pressing start on the screen, sometimes I like to go over and flip over that left one, and then right next to that start is that mm -hmm. red button. I push that bad boy, and that's like a start as well. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Alrighty. Well, well, that one is firing up. We'll be able to hear those engines fucking firing. I love that noise. As we get that I'm left nice. engine started up there, I figured you can go ahead and show off your bay doors if you want to, sir. Yeah, my uh, audio cut out real quick, but I'm back now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so open the ECM doors first. Those are right behind the weapons bay doors on the sides, uh, right in front of the wheel wells. And then the main weapon bay doors Are open. I unfortunately do not see your weapon bay doors. Oh, they're not opening. No, not on not on my screen. It's not. I don't know if maybe it would be too low, but maybe. I do see those other flaps popping up there. Okay. Do you know how to open your doors? No, I've actually never messed around with that too much. I've only did the start and flight. Okay, I'm starting right engine now. Copy, back inside cockpit, flipping over into right engine start now. There you go, right right engine starting. is starting. Okay. Alright, I can show you how to uh, open the weapon bay doors and, and uh, ECM doors. Yeah, copy. Yeah, whenever you're ready, go ahead and show me those buttons. I'm set. Alright, so on mine, I have mine on the bottom, the very lowest screen that's in between your legs. <coughs> um, hit menu. Oh, and then okay. Looking for I, the menu. And you're going to go to STA, stands for station. What, uh, because I'm kind of zoomed in so it's hard to see. Station, uh, is that the second button there? Uh, or the, the second to last button. STA. Second to last from the, so like if, if you're going from right to left. Uh, yeah, it'll be fuel and then STA. STA, copy, I see. Alright. And then down at the bottom of that screen, you got main doors. Those are your weapons bay doors and EC ACW doors, which are for your players. Copy. Okay, I'll go and I'll open up those main doors now and see if they're operational for me. Okay. They are opening. Yes, they are. I'll go and I'll do a nice little show off there. Okay. Yeah, those aren't opening for me either on my screen. Huh. Okay, so some things unfortunately cannot be seen by everyone. But these are your weapons bay doors. This thing is so cool and detailed. I like the little details that this thing does have. Top Mock Studios definitely did a nice job with detailing a lot of this aircraft here. Um, I almost forgot, but uh, the engine generators uh, to the left of the battery switch. Uh, you can turn those. Uh, you can turn both those on. I forgot about them. Yeah, copy that, sir. I'm about to go ahead and do that right now. I'm back inside the cockpit. I'm going to go ahead and turn on those generators now for left and right. 
Oh. And I go ahead and turn on, uh, or, uh, arm the ejection seat, just so I don't forget it for before takeoff. And you can turn your uh, APU off. Come on, you bastard. I gotta zoom into all the buttons there. <laughs> there you go, APU off. For your uh, heads up displays, for your screen, the far right one, what do you have for that one? Uh, the far right one is just my attitude indicator. I don't, I didn't think, I don't think we can change that one actually, but it has the attitude, heading, um, altitude, speed, and then on the far right of that screen, it's got uh, your fuel level, also. Copy. I switch my right screen. Are you are you talking about the little? The top right screen at the very top, the little one or the no, bigger one down no, the bottom. No, sir. The bigger one right there. In the oh, middle. okay. Uh, that I have as the as the map. Oh, copy. I think it's, okay. I forgot what it's called. Probably. The probably what I'll MMD. Do. Copy. Yeah, that's what I was gonna go ahead and switch over to as well. Okay. Like that that'll be fine. That's basically the same shit I have there, but that's okay. I'll keep that. All right, I'm closing my. The doors there. Should be closing up there. There they are closing. Yep, mine are closed. Copy. I'm going to go ahead and shut that canopy now. I can at least see the canopy close, so that's cool. <laughs> yeah, I, I can still see that beautiful, nice gold glow to you. As well with that canopy, it's fucking beautiful. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Alrighty, sir. Do you have the uh, heading where we're going for Goldwater Air Range? Yes, I do. Hundred ninety-nine. What do you have for uh, fuel before we take off? Really quick, you had a hundred. Uh, I do have a hundred. I also have fuel tanks. Okay. I don't know if you your you have fuel tanks or not. Uh, I do. I have for like okay. payloads and stuff like that. Say it again. But my. So, like, for, like, my payloads, I have mm -hmm. my payload uh, zero through eight. I have that at just, like, zero for uh, no no pounds in there. But my, okay. for fuel, my left and right main and uh, left and right aux, they're both at 100%. Gotcha. Okay, yeah, so, so is mine. All right, copy. Yeah, I'm at 100. I'm ready to go. Mm -hmm. And if you want, when we're in the air, I can show you how to uh, eject the fuel tanks. Just for shits copy. and giggles. <laughs> yeah, that sounds good to me. Say, as soon as we're over there, sir, you're the lead. You go ahead and you take us through whatever formations you want to. All right. Um, and then now that uh, there should be, uh, check your status page, make sure there's nothing on there uh, but the parking brake because it's still set. But everything nope, else should I'm be off. I'm good to go. All right, sweet deal. I like to switch it back to nav just to have it open. Copy, nav. Alright, that is set. I'm going to go ahead and put my yoke and my throttle still set. Sometimes I like to go ahead and make sure I put that yoke away so it doesn't get mm -hmm. in my way. Okay. Alrighty, sir. Are we ready to go ahead and contact ATC for takeoff? Yes, sir. I just did. Um, we're departing south. Copy. And then let me know if you're ready. Did you get two one right using yep. uh, EDA copy? All right. Uh yeah. No, I got two one left. No wait. Mm. So yeah, two one left. We're holding short at two one right, uh, and then continuing uh, to two one left. Yeah, copy that. Thank you. Alrighty, sir. I'll let you go ahead and taxi in front of me. I thought it backwards. We are going to two one right. That's my fault. Alright, I'm going. <laughs> I'm gonna run over the uh little pushback tub guy. Thank you, kind sir, for sitting here. 
go ahead and make sure you duck your head as my wing goes ahead and <laughs> gives you a nice little... Oh, yep, you're decapitated. You're dead. That's a hidden problem. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> it's fine. Your disability is not a result of your service. Mm-hmm. Hey, sir, just be advised, you have a, uh, a NPC truck that's fucking coming right up on your ass. Oh, do I? Oh, I don't see him on yeah. my screen. Dang it. Okay. <laughs> no, you're good. <laughs> so he would he would absolutely have uh, been uh, surprised there by those fucking jets. Yeah. Dude, these engines are fucking massive. So do you know any little fun facts about the uh, F-22 at all? Um, it can fly as slow as a Cessna and also break the sound, or go double the sound, uh, break the sound barrier, uh, go to, uh, a Mach 2, uh, with ease. Um, what else do I know? Which one do you think, uh, is better? Because I've heard people argue both. Do you think the F-22 or the F-35? Um, that's tough. I think, uh, well, the F-22 is the most feared aircraft on the planet today, uh, and the F-35, uh, all three variants are really just supposed to, uh, um, uh, replace the, uh, like a bunch of different fourth generation jets, like the F-18 with the carrier base, um, uh, F-35 Charlie, um, the Stovall F-35 Bravo is supposed to replace the Harrier, um, the Alpha, I want to say, is supposed to replace the F-16, but I'm not 100% positive on that, but, um, in terms of, uh, maneuverability, the F-22 takes the win, but, um, with, um, what's it called, um, different types of munitions, uh, the F-22 is really only meant for missiles and air-to-air, -air, whereas the F-35 can hold, um, 500 and 1,000 pound bombs, um, so it can do a lot of air-to-air -air and air-to-ground. Alright, I'm on the right side. Copy, sir. Since you're taking lead, do you want to go ahead and be, be lead today? Yeah, sure. I'm going to skip a little more. You got space. Copy. Since you like to go ahead and practice on the right more dominantly, I'll start practicing on left wing. Okay. okay. So this way I can start practicing if you're ever in formation. We'll be a little bit better there. You can go ahead and get that right position that you're feeling a little bit more comfortable with. Okay. I'm practicing more on the left wing. Alright, you know we have to do it. A little signature picture here. Heck yeah. For every flight. <laughs> that nice little zoom level going. Alright. And smile. Cheese. <laughs> and there she is, dude. Added to the scrapbook on the wall. <laughs> Alrighty, sir. I'm inside. Waiting for your right. command. I'm going to hold the brake. Go full power. Hit the afterburner. Let go of the brake. Full speed. Pull up. Then you gear up. Go up to about 8,000 feet. I'm going to pull back on the throttle. How much you pull back, sir? I'm sticking at about 85%.
I'm gonna turn to heading 198. Copy, sir. I see you. I'm gonna course correct onto the onto the line and then go back over to 198. Copy. <coughs> Another aircraft in the area as well. Looks like that's a F-751. I don't even know what the fuck that is. Say it again. There's another aircraft in the area. It was about west to us, but it looks like it's heading back uh, towards Phoenix. Oh. Uh, I'm going to set altitude to uh, 10,000 feet. And how do you do that, sir? So for the autopilot, uh, right in the front, right under the HUD, uh, there's the AP or A slash P button on the left side, um, right beside the small screens. <clears throat> A slash P. You see it? Copy, I see it. Okay. And then you'll press that. You'll turn, uh, you'll hit the master button. It'll be the arrow pointing at the uh, master screen. Copy. And then uh, go ahead and press the nav button as well. Both of them should have like a A in parentheses on both of them when they're activated. Yep. Okay. And then the up and down arrow, press the that button. Wait, what the fuck is that? Oh, it's trying to lock me in this altitude. I do not like this. Uh huh. It's facing me towards the ground. Uh oh. Alright, let go or um, disengage the autopilot. Um, just Copy press the... disengaged. Alright, and then you come back up. Um, is the autopilot page still open? Do you still see the master and uh, SCR, AT, and that kind of stuff? Copy. Alright, press the arrow button before pressing master the master altitude button on. Okay, you said press the arrow before I press the master. Yeah. And then okay. when you press the arrow, so, you'll go to the second page of the or second autopilot page. Okay, so right now I'm looking at the arrow that is facing towards master. Is that the is that the arrow I need to be pushing? Uh, you still see master on your screen, on the top screen. Yes. Okay, press the arrow button. Uh, or the press the um. Uh, there's an up and down arrow on the bottom left or bottom right corner of that section that panel yes yes I, I do press that and then you should see like bkcrs and spd copy all right and then the la the second to last one will say atl slash bs copy press that and then you'll see atl one of one altitude lock altitude yep and then all right so the third one the altitude um under it's the third arrow button press that <clears throat> where it says and, versus lock uh not that one it's the one in between uh altitude lock and uh vertical speed lock copy you'll press that and then the keys the number key to ten zero 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 All right, and, I got 10,000. All right, and then the under the autopilot button, there's a MRK button. It's in between the autopilot and the up and down arrows. Press that, and that'll lock in uh, 10,000 feet for your altitude. Where is MRK? It's uh, in between the autopilot button and it. that up and down arrow. Copy. I clicked it. Sweet deal. And then your altitude will be locked in, and then you press uh, the autopilot button again right above that mark button. Copy. And then you can hit master and nav. Master. Nav. Okay. Sweet deal. And then I'm going to go ahead and lock my speed in at 500. Zero zero. Why is this thing rotating so crazy? Um, what does, uh, what is your, um, source? Oh. Your, uh, right under the, uh, autopilot. It should say SRC colon. It says GPS. Okay, that's what it should be. And it's spinning around? 
No, it, it was it was correcting me because it's putting me directly for my pin that I have set up. That's why. But I wanted oh. to go and try to form in towards you. I got you. Okay, okay. I got you. I am... Alright. I've got my autopilot set, uh, my auto throttle set for 500 knots. And how the hell do you set the auto throttle? Like I said, sir, I've always flown this thing manually. Yeah, I got you. So, um, go back to where the same screen uh, for to set the uh, altitude that we did, autopilot, and then hit the uh, up and down arrow for the second autopilot page. There's the SPD button. Copy. You want me to go ahead and hit that? Yeah. Copy. Set speed. And, yep. And then hit speed. Uh, hit set speed, and just type in 500, and then the mark button. Copy. Good deal, and then you're all set. And then if you want, uh, you can go a little faster so you can catch up, and then once you get close enough, then uh, you can freaking uh, turn that back on. Uh, you don't actually have it on right now. You have to go back to the autopilot page, and then um, right above nav, it'll say uh, AT, A slash T for autopilot. And it'll be there. Right now, I'm over uh, the mountains that we were, uh, the mountain range. Yeah. So. This was actually really cool. I did not know how to do any of this. For our, uh, whenever we fly and we start doing our like maneuvers and whatnot, mm -hmm. you'll have to show me how to cancel out all this so this way we can go back to manual flight. Oh, all you have to do is hit the um, master button again and it'll turn off autopilot. The A, the A in parentheses will go away and then you, uh, you'll have full control again. Copy. All right. So all I need to do is just whenever I I want that turned off, I just set that off. Yep. All right. And it should. Oh man. So I'm gonna go ahead and yep. turn that off. And go ahead and start to branch in towards you. I'm just gonna keep uh, that uh, 198 heading. Yeah. Copy. So you you go ahead and you keep the heading that you have. And then, wow, once you get close enough, I'll show you how to drop the fuel tanks. Alright, copy. I'm gonna keep the auto throttle. So, right now, it, it doesn't matter how much I increase or decrease. So, since I shut off that autopilot, does that mean everything I shut off? My auto throttle, everything like that? Yeah, um, it'll still have the auto throttle, and then nav will still have the A in parentheses by it. But once you hit that master, once you turn off the master, you have full control. Copy. Alright, good to know, dude. Good to fucking know. Oh, actually, it's like I lied. You will have to just turn off the, uh, you'll have to turn off the auto throttle and nav, um, by itself, but everything else should be fine. Okay, I so right now for nav, if I just let it go, it's, it's not gonna do anything because I have control over it, correct? Say it again? No, I think, I think I answered my own question. I'm good on that. I got control over. I'm catching up to you. I'm trying to come okay. up on your left wing so this way I can go ahead and try to do some nice formations over. Okay. So now, basically, all we need to do is we will be returning eventually to the Air Force Base behind us. My custom arrival is about 32 miles from us. Okay. Um, if, if you have a different setting, that's fine. But this is basically going to be our playground. It's over these mountains here. And then eventually we'll be requesting to go land back at the loop whenever you're done. Alright, sweet deal. Freaking, uh, when we drop the fuel tanks, uh, uh, if we drop the fuel tanks above, I think 64% or 60 something, it'll drop us, it'll drop our fuel down to 67% because we just dropped, uh, all that fuel. But, um, it, it'll be, we'll be able to make it back, uh, totally fine. We should. Okay, I'm still going. 
500 knots. Go ahead. Where am I heading at? Zero one nine for my heading. Copy. I see you. And I'm gonna keep it at five hundred knots, ten thousand feet. And I set heading lock for 019. Copy 019. Well, 018, 019, roughly. Yeah. I'm trying to catch up to you. You are a fast boy there. <laughs> I see you. I see you too. Sir, well, I think I'm uh, decent enough. Is there any little maneuvers you want to go ahead and try doing, or uh, whatever you want to do? Uh, actually, I had to drop the fuel tanks real quick. Oh yeah, that that is right. Thank you for reminding me. <laughs> I have the attention span of a squirrel, and I'm flying a very expensive jet right now. Yeah. All right, sir. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead, and start explaining those uh, fuel tanks there. All right, so <clears throat> down at the uh, right, uh, the panel with your landing lights, parking brake, and your tow hook. There's the um, uh, emergency jettison button or the selector switch. Um, Copy. And then there's to the right of that, there's the master arm uh, safety switch. And you'll flip the Copy. safety switch to arm. Copy. And then all you have to do is press the. Uh, um, I can't even think of the name of it now, I just said it. The master arm, or not the master arm, the uh, the selector switch. You just press that button and your fuel tanks will drop off. Where's the, the selector switch that you're talking about? 
Uh, it'll be, uh, it's the button. Uh, it's got like a ring around it with the selector on it. You can't select anything, but you can hit the emergency jettison button. Um, and that's the... Oh, copy. Uh, it's got like the black and yellow. Or, yeah, the... And the there they go, dude. Yep. I fucking dropped them. Oh, shit. That was pretty fucking cool. Right? Okay. And that'll drop us down copy to 67%. That. And, uh... We don't have anything else to drop or anything, so we can just flip the master arm switch back to safe. And that's it. Dude, that's fucking cool. Alright, bet. <laughs> we will uh, definitely have to sit there and uh, definitely not pretend like we're dropping any uh, other things besides our fuel tanks. Right. <laughs> that's fucking Every awesome. Game. Yeah, it's super sick. They put a lot of detail on this. Yeah, this this is really nice. Now that we've been flying for a little bit, we did our nice little formations there and, and whatnot. We went through the autopilot. What is your experience while flying this? What is the pros and cons that you feel, Peach? Um, for the pros, um, it's definitely just more maneuverable. So, like, if I was to catch up to somebody, I can catch up to them pretty easily. And if I need to like slow down, it slows down fairly quick. Um. And it can also fly relatively slow, so keeping up or staying with someone in something slower or smaller uh, is easy, or staying uh, with somebody bigger is also easy. Um, uh, and the maneuverability uh, is top tier. It's freaking, it's amazing. And you can recover from a lot of uh, pretty much anything. If you're at a high enough altitude, you can recover from anything. Freaking flat spins, whatever. It doesn't matter. You can completely stall out, and with your fuel level um, low enough, probably under 50%, you can freaking... You, I, I've gone completely vertical and just hovered above the... like, a couple feet above the ground, vertically. <laughs> yeah, I've, <laughs> I've done the same exact thing, dude. Mm, it's freaking so sick. All right, well, since I'm kind of close to you and I can get kind of a really cool shot of inside the cockpit, you want to do a nice little barrel roll? Yeah. Do that right now. Ready? Yep. Whoa, look at you. All right. And then I can freak in. Right one back to you, sir. Nice. <laughs> Now I can uh, I can do a cobra, freaking slow down on a dime. Okay, you here. Let me go and get the time. All right, I'm gonna slow down a little bit. You're good. I see you coming up. All right, do your cobra, sir. All right. Dude, that's pretty fucking sick. Good job in the Cobra, my friend. Let's see if right. I can see if I can do myself a nice little Cobra. Here. Style skills. <laughs> go down. There you go. There you go. I'm doing a little bit of a stall there. Drift your nose there. See, what's fun about this is that you don't really have to worry about stalling. Keep it whenever your belly is flat. Stall is there. Right, it'll just recover. Yes. Just like that. See, we'll go ahead and show it. I know it's kind of scary, but we're about 11,000 feet up, so go ahead and show you just a nice little flat belly stall here as we're going down. Yeah, like, right now I'm freaking completely vertical. I'm doing zero knots. Starting to pick up speed now, though. 
Yeah, I'm just trying to do some crazy shit now just to show off this bad boy. Mm -hmm. There you go, stall her out. Ability so great. Now mm -hmm. we're hyping it up and everything. There is cons to it, such as there are some issues with the avionics. Sometimes when you do flip on the master battery, or even during flight, I've seen the avionics will pop off and then just yep. turn all back on. Uh, not quite sure whose fault that's that's on, um, but we just do want to throw shade at the at the plane just because of that. But we did want to mention some of the issues that we've had and also of course uh running off the xbox series s i have had instances where i've flown this around one of our super carriers <clears throat> that was featured in the uh, fa <clears throat> fa 18 video jesus i'm gonna choke um and we tried to uh fly around there and i know that my game did crash once before so definitely pushes the series s uh just a little bit too much whenever you start to include a bunch of mods in this bad boy but She's flown really great for us. I know I've landed around the carrier and launched her from the carrier, no problem. So it'll definitely be a little bit of a learning experience flying with more people uh, and with this aircraft, but it is lovely, especially after the different things that I've learned today with this flight. It is awesome. All right, so do you have our heading, uh, heading back towards Luke? Uh, yes, it's around, uh, 018. Copy, yeah. Okay, I'm just gonna see if I can find a money to see. It should be K L F. Okay. So they're doing a nice little... There it is. It's about 38 miles. Pattern entry. And there's Phoenix right there. Above us, I should say. Now that we're inverted. I see you, <laughs> sir. I'm doing some fancy shit, I'm sorry. Are you good? The uh, pattern entry is 25 miles away. Copy. Tila Ben back there. So the area that we were doing, we just didn't want to go fly to some random mountains. That is actually the Goldwater Air Range where uh, the uh, F-22 and 35s go and they fly and do all the other maneuvers and whatnot uh, over near there. I'm trying to look back for you now, sir. I definitely did lose you with my little maneuvers there. Um, I'm to your right, I think, if you're facing this way. It looks like you're headed right for me, maybe. Do you see my name? No, that's why I was like, oh shit, I lost you. Okay, uh, copy, I see you. Okay, sweet. Perfect. I'm gonna push this thing in the max. Right? It can handle it. Alright, I see you now. I'm going to readjust. I'm coming right for you. Alright. Do you want me to fly over the uh, airport and let you land first? Or do you want me to land first? Um, I'll go ahead and, and I'll, I'll land. So this way I can get a nice little shot of you. Okay. And I don't know if you do know, but um, this F-22 and the F-35, I have no idea about the F-18, but the F-22 and the F-35 for sure. Uh, when they land, they freaking 
do a wheelie basically down the entire runway almost, or at least half the runway it seems. And freaking when they're slowing up their freaking front landing, their nose landing gear will come down. So it looks super awesome. <laughs> Alright, good to know I wasn't fucking up my landings. <laughs> It's got to be not the uh, tail strike. I do see the runway. Did you already Stop contact this. ATC? Negative. I'm going to go and contact ATC right now. Okay. They'll I'm tell you. Um, they'll tell you to probably uh, two one right. Uh, which is on the far side from us. I think that's what I... Yeah, two on right. <clears throat> Actually... Yeah, okay, I see it. Yeah. Right now I'm over the pattern entry. That's Phoenix Goodyear. Yeah. So the airport is directly, directly north of us. Over the airport while you're landing. Copy. Turning in. There she is right there for Luke. As we see, we get a nice little view over all the little neighborhoods here. And back there you have Phoenix Goodyear, which is a relatively not too busy airport, but you'll definitely see some people around there. Not as much as you would see Sky Harbor, our international airport here in Phoenix, but you'll definitely you'll see a little bit of contact over there. But one thing I do like about Luke is that you'll probably always have the airspace to yourself, so that's why I like picking her. Copy. I acknowledge. Right, I'm getting that out of the way.
nice, nice, nice. Alright, I'm down. I'll let you know when the runway's clear, sir. Copy. Uh... Did you land on 2-1 left, or 2-1 right? That's a uh, great question. To be honest with you, I was uh, just focused on trying to <laughs> land. Ah, I gotcha. It looks like you're on 2-1 left, so I'll, I'm clear to land 2-1 uh, right anyway. Okay, copy. I'm gonna go ahead and if you have your landing set up, I'll pop over into Drone Showcase. And get you getting that sweet landing popped up right there. Perfect, perfect. You say you're lined up for 2 1 right? Two, one. Yep. Copy, yeah, I'm on 2 1 left. It's very surreal hearing you coming in and landing and also hearing the jets fly around at the actual base outside yeah. is um, <laughs> pretty cool. <Yeah. laughs> Hear you coming in, sir. Oh, yeah. Should be good. Should be good. Oh. Then the front landing gear goes down. I hit the brakes. Break in, perfect. Beautiful, dude. <laughs> Beautiful landing, dude. Excellent. I gotta go like clear around though, cause freaking. I don't even know where the nearest freaking taxiway is. Way the fuck out here. Oh, 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 oh. Calm down, girl. <laughs> My plane was starting to jump and bump all around. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Alright, I'm taxiing my way over towards you right now, so, so we can end the video right next to each other. Okay. Uh. <clears throat> but no, ending thoughts for this? <clears throat> it is an excellent aircraft, especially for someone that's like, what the hell do all these buttons mean? And going from maybe a different type of aircraft, if you guys are interested in it, you don't want to do the uh, FA-18, uh, the stock one, the Boeing one that was in the original video or that comes with uh, the uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator itself, and you just want to start getting in some mods or you just want to look at some stuff, you're not quite sure, this one will do everything you need it to. Uh, I know we didn't do any uh, carrier landings today with her, but that is completely okay because we'll be able to do another video and we'll just all focus on just carrier landings and takeoffs and just a little a little fun uh, exercise, training exercise, just a whole video dedicated to that. But overall, I really do like this fucking aircraft. It's awesome, and uh, it'll definitely be included in future videos from here on to come. Sir, I should be meeting you about halfway. Nice to you. Yeah, I'm definitely breaking some taxi laws to get to you. <laughs> Told me to park at ramp 67. Okay. 
I see you. Are you, uh... Oh, okay, I see you. Yeah, I see you there. <laughs> Sweet. Yeah, dude. This went really well. I'm very, very happy. But Absolutely. I like this type of stuff. So, like, with this type of streams, I don't like to chop and, and edit down anything for you guys. I like to just be able to just throw it up there. You guys can see the whole flight. You guys can skip or, or pick through the video however much you want to and see whatever parts that are interesting to you. And uh, in the future, if you guys want us to go over something, like, we'll just do a navigation for FA-18. We'll just do navigation for this or autopilot. And we can do training exercises like that in the future as well, if that's something that is uh, a niche that people are looking for. But, yeah, overall, dude, this is pretty fucking sweet. The taxi mm -hmm. itself. Go ahead and do a nice little outro there, and we'll go ahead and end the stream. Why so it know took me to the island. Freaking, yeah, I don't know why it told me to go here. But I'm here. <laughs> it said eat shit, dude. That thing needs to be refueled. Alright, I'm turning around right now so that I can match up with you there. Alright. She is. All right, I'm going to be shutting down my engines for right now. Uh, how do you go right. through shutting down your engines? Let me take a gander. I go to the engine page and uh, hit the control button. Uh, the first thing I do, actually, psych I lied, is turning off the left and right generator. And then I, for the... Uh, left engine, turn off the ignition and the fuel pump, and then that'll spool down, and then ignition and pump for the right engine, and that one will spool down. Copy, she's spooling. Yeah, I didn't turn the APU on or anything, but uh, I don't think it's necessary, necessary for this jet, just because everything still works with just the battery and you don't even need the APU. But. From there, I just go about turning everything back off. The lights. Again. 
arm the uh, or uh, ejection seat safe. And from there, everything's off. That's, uh, I'm not really. I don't really turn off the screens all that much, but and then battery off. And there we go. I had the flight log popped up there. So it says on here the total amount of flight time is about 32 minutes. So that's not too bad at all. Mm -hmm. So total hours uh, I have on here right there is about 32 hours, 42 minutes, and 7 seconds. So not too bad at all. I definitely want to start doing a lot more night flights for you guys and showing off that type of stuff. I think that would be so fucking cool to show off. But that's basically uh, the shutdown procedure. And then I don't think after that the... Um, we get the red cover that pops back over. I think that's just for whenever you start it up, right? Say it again. So for uh, whenever uh, you uh, shut her all down, you don't get the red uh, thing like over it. Uh, no, the red, all the red covers and everything. Yeah, all of my freaking uh, whatever they're called. Uh, I can't even think of a name for it. Red gear is all still off. Uh, I'm pretty sure because I know in the F-35 there is a little pocket that you press and you're able to uh, turn that all or put that all back on and I thought I've done it before I gotta think about it really quick and see if I can find it yeah also you might want to flip your uh, battery back on and open up your canopy because I got stuck <laughs> Oh, mine, mine is open for me. Oh, is it? Okay. It, yeah. it wasn't showing open for me already. Ah. Uh, well, dang. I'm almost well, positive I've done it before. Damn. It reset me all the way the hell over here now, didn't it? Thank you, ladies and gents, for joining us today. I know it was a little bit of a longer stream, but I wanted to go ahead and show off this aircraft, like I said before. Show off this... Uh, this Luke Air Force Base. I know it's not that detailed. It doesn't really give that much detail to her, but I want to go and give her some love here out of uh, Arizona. But yeah, that was the uh, Top Mock Studios F-22 Lightning. And uh, yeah, I fucking like her. Seal of approval. She'll definitely be a part of our arsenal. Thank you.